and 7 News confirming this afternoon a Federal Heights police officer has been fired. He was caught after seeing video from a body camera showing him assaulting a suspect already in custody. 7 News reporter Jennifer Kowaleski is live now. Jen, he's not the only officer to be disciplined here. And the other cop who was seen in that video was disciplined but remains on the job tonight. As for Officer Magnus, he pled guilty to assault charges this month. But we still have a lot of questions about why he was able to stay on the job so long. Yo, get the out of the car. The nine minute body cam footage is hard to watch. Shortly after the camera starts rolling, you can see former officer Mike Magnus slam the suspect into this refrigerator. Bleeding from the nose, they take him inside. Minutes later, the suspect throws a punch, and that's when Officer Magnus goes off. You want to fight with? You picked the wrong cop to fight with, man. I can tell you that right now. Federal Heights Police Chief Carl Wilms wouldn't go on camera, but tells 7 News Officer Magnus was fired on December 29th for significant violations of policy. Police launched an investigation in early December after employees reported the incident. In the video, you can see one of the other officers try to calm Magnus down. <laughs> We're going to need medical. He's got a good I don't care. Strap him in the chair. Okay. I am. And this isn't the first time Magnus has been charged with excessive force. In 2009, he pled guilty after this man said Magnus threw him to the ground, breaking his arm. When I saw that, I remember when he just grabbed me and... I didn't, I didn't resist nothing and just he's pushed me and throw me all, all the way down. Magnus was allowed to stay on the job. Now, Chief Will Mez was not on the job when either of these incidents happened. He couldn't provide details about the case in 2009 and said he wasn't sure why Magnus wasn't fired. We're live tonight. Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News.